What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so uh, it has literally been a month. Not a month, pretty much, uh, I guess, a whole summer. I don't even know, guys. I, I don't even know. But yes, I am uh, back here, actually doing facial, narration, I don't even know how to speak right now, guys. It's just... <laughs> I needed the time off. I needed a break. Life changed, if you guys know what I mean. And, uh, well, I am happy to be back here, thanks to some motivation, uh, some pushing, you know, push. And, uh, yeah, the first, very first thing that we have for, you know, narrations is this right here our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Of course, we have, uh, you know, we have failed to do the walkthrough for quite some time, and, uh, yeah. It is finally time to hopefully complete this. As many of you guys already know, I do not like the Sinnoh region, but I kind of have to because I started it. Yeah. Anywho, in our last episode, I checked back. You know, I checked on the phone right here. Uh, we defeated uh, Waker Crash. Crasher Waker? Or Waker... Wow, I can't even... Oh, wow, I can't even remember these guys' names. So, anywho, yes, we won our first... Uh, not our first badge, but our fourth badge right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at our trainer card. Yes. And view badges, press the Y button. Look at this. Dirty AF. <laughs> That's how long I've been gone, guys. When did we start this again? Oh, wow. We started this back in November. Guys, we are about to hit November in like a month or two. My bad. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, before we go into explanations and all that stuff, um, yeah. We defeated Crash Awake uh, to, to win our fourth badge and all that crud. And, uh, well, I believe in our last episode, we were going to be going straight to, what, let's see, northeast, southwest. We're going to be going west, Pastoria, I believe. And, uh, you know, be on an adventure. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's how you know I am lost, guys. Holy buckets. Okay, so, anywho. Let's see. Uh, we do need a few dust balls. Uh, different kinds of Pokeballs because we need to capture different Pokemon and all that crap. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know. Would you guys want the short version, or the the, high, <laughs> the short version, or the quick version of uh, why I was gone for quite some time? I don't even know. I can't even see no stream right here. And well, as you guys can see, I I brought back the Yeti because oh, man, I love hearing myself here, and I I, I did see. In the last few episodes, that I looked ridiculous doing this. I'm like, what was the point of that? So, yes, I could hear myself clearly. Yes, sir. Anywho, let's see. Life has changed. But on top of it all, guys, uh, your boy kind of needed a break. A very long break. A very long needed break. Uh, again, can't even speak correctly because, well, your boy needed time. Uh... Roll around in circles. Wow, okay. Yeah, your boy needed some time to just relax and really enjoy uh, what was going on in life and whatnot. And uh, I guess you could say it's okay. Oh, holy buckets, it is raining, and I forgot about the marshes. Good God, come on, let's get out of the mud. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go right here. Oh, I got this, the toggle. Um... Uh, Anywho, let's see. I'm getting tagged, I'm getting this, I'm getting that. And these are my Pokemon, completely forgot about them. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I know that there's an item right here somewhere. And it is raining. Okay. I believe there is a very particular item that we need. And I think we've already we've already mentioned the part where like I really do hate uh, the Great Marsh and all it's in all its not glory and uh, wow I am stuck. Okay. Okay, turn around. Um, back to this. It's right here somewhere. Uh, right here. Where's the ball? Ah, there you go, okay. So we need to take a step uh, to the left, I guess. Let's see, right here. One more. Um, back to that. And... Etiquette. Uh, oh, wow, it's still there. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we have to get deep into this uh, marsh thingy right here. Okay. How about now? 
Ah, it's right above us. Yeah. Talk about that. Okay, here we go. We found ourselves a rare candy. Wow. Amazing. Anywho, uh, while I'm struggling to get the heck out of this uh, Great Marsh thing right here, and having Goldbad just block my way because, well, you know, why not? Um, yeah, your boy just needed a break. I... There's quite a few things that, that went on, you know, and uh, things that I needed to, like, at least sacrifice. Things that I needed to just uh, focus on, and thankfully, um, I did. Uh, what brought me back to this whole thing was that I, I, I did miss narrating for you guys. Um, one of the biggest things about, you know, me doing this for you guys is the comments that I've been receiving from all you guys. Um, a lot of you guys are like, man, I, I, I really enjoy your episodes. I wonder where you're at, this and that. And it's not like I disappeared completely, guys. I was actually, uh, re -re or, you know, I was redistributing uh, uh, walkthrough videos for Pokemon Brown, Pokemon Liquid Crystal, and right now, Unova, Unova Red, I believe, yeah. So, it wasn't like I was away, away. I was just, you know, taking a break from speaking. As many of you guys already know, like... Yeah, I did a lot of work. A boatload of things here. And uh, if it sounds like I'm a little winded, if it sounds like I'm just like, I don't really have much to say, it's because, I, you know, honestly, I don't. I really don't have much to say except for, you know, I'm back. I'm glad to be back. And uh, let's see, how do we... Ah, here we go. <laughs> Completely forgot how to use my bike. Yeah, that's how long I've... That's how long ago I've been playing uh, this game right here. Um, yeah, I really... Yeah, I really don't have a lot of a lot to say in regards to like um, many things because, well, shoot, uh, it it's just a much needed break that I needed to have. Um, let's see, will there be more breaks? I don't know. I haven't taken a break like this in 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 quite some time. And uh, well, let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers right here. So, here we go, taking on uh, Scientist Sean with the A and a U, and he doesn't look like the most uh, happy guy, but here he comes out with an Abra, and here we go with Electrostar. Now, funny thing about this, guys, is it is raining, and if I remember correctly, Electrostar has a uh, shockwave, so that right there is going to be super effective rain. You know, the elements, it works. Eat that. That's right. How does it feel to fail? Yeah, that hasn't changed either, guys. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's see. He's coming out with a Kadabra. Let's go straight for a, a guy that knows how to do things right here in the rain. And that is Hydra. Hail Hydra. Anywho, uh, let's see, let's see. So, we're back at Pokemon Brilliant uh, Diamond. Uh, I know that, uh, shoot, about a year or two ago, I, you know, I've kind of flopped on it. And I missed out on a lot of things. Um, so the schedule, scratch my face. Uh, the schedule will go as followed, guys. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond will be posted up two two times a week, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, if that sounds proper. Um, I do have other things in the works, uh, non-narration stuff that you know I, I kind of felt like doing just because it's like, well, I've already overplayed this game. I might as well make tutorial videos do it properly for those for those people who don't want to like hear a person's voice because you know not everybody who watches Pokemon walkthroughs are, are, are about the narrations they're usually about the gameplay and stuff so that's what I'm doing and uh, out of that that came it, it, it trickled to more ideas that I can post up on my channel so yeah I've been I've been planning ahead guys I've been doing a lot of work um, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a lot of stuff that I could say about like how how things are going. Like I'm still your your favorite gym leader, literal gym leader, and uh, let's see, I am still the coach, <laughs> still the coach, still working very hard like uh, usual, and uh, and yes, I do hate. What was it? I still hate the Dodgers. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Nothing's changed. It's just me. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a Zinc, which, you know, you could give to your Pokemon or sell it for goodies and all that stuff. Um, of course, we're going to be going through the marsh right here. The much dreaded marsh. 
And uh, yeah, I think this is one of like the one of the things that I really hated about the Sinnoh region in general was the marshes because it slowed down the gameplay like nobody's business. And um, well, I guess that was a complaint too when you know Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out. And uh, right now I'm just trying to battle everybody I can see. And I know that there's some hidden items around here and all that stuff. I'm not trying to get any of those right now. And well, here we are taking on a Cricketune. That is a very distinct yell. Yeah. Anywho, it's raining. It's boring. That Cricketune is about to. Well, not. It's not gonna be snoring. We're just gonna be running away. It must be sleepy. Yeah. That's how I felt too. So let's go ahead and run away and move on to the very next thing right here, guys. I'm. Yeah. Anywho. I'm here looking for battles. I'm going to be battling. So, let's go right ahead and take on Pokemon Ranger Taylor. And Pokemon Ranger Taylor is coming out with a Luxio. And, uh, well, your boy right here doesn't really have the type advantage at the moment. So, we're going to go to a type advantage at some point. And, uh, yeah, another addition or re-addition back to this whole channel is the microphone right here, guys. Um... For a while, I have been using the Fifteen system, the Fifteen microphone and all that stuff. And if there was one thing that I didn't like about the Fifteen was that when I put this on, I could barely hear my voice to the gameplay and it, it just didn't work out for me. I kind of didn't like it, but the, I mean, the quality was there. It's just I didn't like not hearing myself clearly while doing this, which in turn, you know, you got to see my big, big old ear right there. So, yeah, we brought back the blue, the, the blue Yeti. I can hear myself clearly. And, uh, well, look at it. Luxio has been defeated. New to Uno wins. And, uh, well, Weasel's coming out. Do I have a Pokemon that? Oh, yeah, I do. Anywho, yes. Just a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff that uh, has been going right here. Now, there is quite a few things that I probably would like to say to you guys about this game in particular and that is that I do not have a lot of time for grinding not a lot I mean I'll get I'll get to what I can but since I've been playing a, another version of this shining pearl I believe and I do have other Pokemon that can they are compatible to this game eventually we will be seeing some Pokemon make its way in here that way we can finish this game quickly because well I got around to watching the final walk or the, the walkthroughs to this, and yeah, I, I I am not in no mood to be battling Cynthia like that. So um, yeah. Anywho, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back, guys, and uh, as as per usual. Um, oh look at that! We found ourselves a TMO6 Toxic. That is a very good move, and I well another complaint I have about uh, have about this game is. Why would why revert the teams back to uh, to uh, not unlimited? If you guys know what I mean. Uh, let's see where oh where or okay let's go right here no right here. Yeah, I do not want to get attacked by any Pokemon right now. So let's see, let's go right here. We got a few repels. Let's go ahead and use the regular repels before you now. Going on to the next thing right here. So yeah, another complaint of mine is that uh, well going into Sword and Shield and then this game, how in the heck, how in the heck did you, like, why in the heck would you want to go back to, um, you know, limited uh, TMs? It's ridiculous. I do not like it. That needs to change. There are Pokemon to that be can become more powerful when it rains. That is true. I mean... Take a look at my Pokemon that I'm about to come out with. And, uh, well, here we go. Derek and on Parasol Lady Alexa. And she's coming with her Goldeen. And, well, Electro Star is ready to kick some butt, take some names, do the whole the whole thing right here. So, Intimidate is uh, one of them. And, well, let's go straight ahead for a Shockwave attack. And uh, there you go. Goldeen. Why bother with a Goldeen? Seriously. Why bother? I, I could I don't even know. So there's more experience points for all our Pokemon. Here comes a Buisel, and well, it looks like the Electro Star show fe featuring Electro Star. And as you guys can see, it is dozing off. And well, here comes a Bite Attack. 
and Shockwave for the win. There you go. Yes, we win. And, well, let's see. Alexa, not happy at all. I mean, I could hear her voice. Hopefully, I don't. Wait. Yeah, that's the other brand. Never mind. Anywho, let's see. Let's go ahead here and Shards Wanted, technical machines offered. So this place right here is a spot where if you had like red, blue, yellow, green shards, this person right here will give you a very rare TM uh, for trade. I don't know how many we have. I don't want to go in there right now because, well, why bother? So let's go ahead and start battling everybody. This episode right here, guys, is very limited life stories and more battles and whatnot. I don't even know. And here we are taking on Juan. And would you look at that? He's coming out with his Gyarados. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it. And, well, it is raining. It is boring. We're both intimidating us. And he's just smiling. He's like, oh, yeah? Well, my Gyarados has an intimidate itself. Let's try and beat that. And, well, here we go. Shockwave for the win. Is it four times or eight times? I want to know. And, well, would you look at that. Gyarados has fainted. I am kicking butt. And that's more experience points for all of us. Now, I'm going to name off all the complaints here that I have for this game. One, chibi form. Why would you go to chibi form? Two, when we're battling these suckers... Why, oh why, is the experience meter going slower and slower and slower? That's another one. Three, the Great Marsh. The Great Marsh needs to go die. Four, the end game. WTF. I'm just saying, guys. Anywho, we're going back right here. Uh, I, again, I can name off all the complaints, and I just, I, I really don't want to. So, let's go straight for a shockwave attack, and well... There you go, Goldeen defeated. That's right. And, uh, well, there's a Mew de Uno growing to level 26. And here comes a Barboke, Barboach. Still can't pronounce his name. Let's go. You know what? Let's go ahead and use Talk to Batman. I haven't used this guy in quite some time. I kind of need to. I kind of want to. Let's go. Alrighty, so Talk to Batman, looking menacing as always. And here comes a Barboke, Barboach. Don't know how to pronounce his name, but there's a big butt right here. Ear cutter for the win. And there you go. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Alrighty. And, well, Fisher C uh, Cameron has been defeated. Alright, alright. Let's see. Huh, okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on. Now, like I said, guys, yeah, this episode is pure battles and. Not a lot of talking. I mean... I mean, we're taking on these guys, and yeah, he's coming out with his barboach, barboach. How do you guys pronounce it? Seriously, comment down below. Your boy wants to know. He's not that very, or he's not very literate. I don't even know, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go with Starblade. Which begs the question, why do I have two flying-type Pokemon? Hmm, probably should have written that down. <laughs> Anywho, here comes a mud slap. It does not affect our star blade, but this will. Close combat for the win. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. And, well, with great power comes great responsibility. Of course, our defense goes down. And uh, there goes Barbuk. And, well, let's see. Here comes another one. So we're just going to continue on right here. And Barbuk, Barbooch about to, you know, catch these hands right here. Well, it doesn't have hands, but you know what I mean, and there it goes. Barbo Barboach defeated. Fatal, or fatality. <laughs> like I said, guys, it's been a while, and I mean, can you tell that I'm having a lot of fun right here? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this, guys. Um... Shoot, let's see. What is it? What, what is something that I can say that uh, that has affected me on this? Uh, so, believe it or not, at the start of the year, guys, I I, I I actually recorded quite a few episodes. Look at that, Electro Star grows to another level. I I actually recorded like upwards of like an 80, 80 questions or eighty uh, episodes right here. 
And, uh, I don't know. I think that was probably the worst thing that I could ever do because, uh, yeah, I'm quite impatient, but I'm, I'm, I'm also just like, you know, I'm very, very focused on how I want to get things done right here. And, um, I'm pretty sure many of you guys can already tell that the reason why I left for a full month or better, better yet, stopped speaking for a full summer or so was because I've been a little bit uh, burnt out and that's what happens guys sometimes you get burnt out and well I got burnt out like nobody else's business uh, I'm pretty sure you could tell by by the uh, other walkthrough videos that I've done like uh, like uh, Alpha Sapphire Pokemon Y the like I could have finished these episodes the way I should have like me actually playing them but unfortunately, I went straight to like, hey, let's re-record them, but with the other, you know, the other walkers that I've done. And because of that, you know, that's kind of been my thing right there. So, yeah, it, it's it's bur major burnout. Um, there was literally no time in my schedule for anything else except for what was going on at work, going on in life, and all that stuff. And uh, you know, quite frankly. It came down to that point where, when I was going to start up my Pokemon Sun walkthrough, I was like, I have nothing. I literally have nothing. I have nothing to give. I have nothing to talk about. On top of it all, I haven't played this game multiple times like I like to. So, why bother? You know? So that's where I made the decision to, uh, to actually, what was it called? Um... That was where I made the decision to not do any more uh, narrations for the for the remainder of the of the summer, and to go back to re-recording, uh, not re-recording, but just like you know, uh, screenshotting or screen recording uh, my old uh, my old uh, what was it called? Um, my old hack videos that I've done back during during the COVID uh, pandemic. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to look a little bit more professional here onto my channel. We all know that during the pandemic, I rushed through, what was it, about 13 walkthroughs? 13 walkthroughs, and thankfully, it got me, you guys, about six to 7,000 more subscribers and all that, but there is a price to it, and that is that, well, I burned out. I burned out. So, let's see. I saw people riding their bikes uh, and using a log just like a bridge. That is true, so let's go ahead and use that. Um, so yeah, the burnt out really, it, it was, it was for real guys, and, uh, oh, there's no trainers, huh. Um, it was real, and again, I do apologize, I do apologize for not being so clear about that. It's just, it, these were, this was one of the, those occasions where I was like, nope, 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 hold on, hold on, cancel. This is one of those occasions where it was like, yeah, I kind of need to just bow out gracefully, quietly, and not say anything, and just... Just enjoy life just a little bit and I I, 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 I could say that I did a little bit <laughs> and uh, you know the motivation on coming back there's quite a few motivations and uh, let's see am I almost out of this place hold on let's see right here and let's see we're on constant patrol even at night it's safe around here oh then why stay on patrol I don't even know and, yeah, I probably should have put on a repel for that stuff. Well, let's see. I will talk about the motivation in the next episode. I mean, I like to talk, I like to tell stories and all that stuff, guys. Um, maybe it's appropriate that the next episode I will tell you what the motivation was in order for me to get back here speaking again and all that crud. Um, today was burnt out, and uh, again, I am not learning my lesson. I need to put on a repel and all that crud. Alright, let's do that, and uh, let's continue to battle these guys right here. Um, let's see, what was the other thing about burnt out, burnout or something like that? And that was... Uh, believe it or not, guys, I, <laughs> I, I, I spend most of my time here in my room doing these episodes, and... Um, Part of that was me missing out on life. Uh, I felt like I missed out on a lot of things in life. 
And that was probably because, you know, there was not a lot of things going on in life for me. I didn't really care much. I just did the usual things like be at the gym, uh, coach the kids, do this, and, you know, that was the thing. But things got things started to get a little interesting in, uh, during the summer. Or better yet, just the start of the year. <laughs> that it made me... It made me realize that like there is so much more out there than just this and I can zoom through all these walkthroughs if I wanted to but it there's a good reason to why like I started seeing an, an increase in uh, what was it called um, I started to see an increase in my viewership when I don't post and that is uh, the quality of the video rather than the quantity of it so that's what I learned and uh, you know I'm gonna keep on doing it that's why I said right here that you know we're gonna be doing two episodes per week for Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and then the rest is going to be on whatever I choose to do which like I said guys it's gonna be very interesting I'm more than just like I'm more than capable of doing this and all that um, it just comes down to a lot of support and all that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're intimidating the crud out of everybody right here. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with uh, Thunderbolts onto that guy. And we're going to go with uh, a Shockwave onto that guy. And, well, we're going to be, yes, being powerful and all that stuff. Primplup, you are not lucky. You have been defeated. Yeah. Alrighty. And, well, here comes a shockwave. Don't know how much damage it will do to an Apom, but it... Well, well, there you go. Look at that. Defeated. Alrighty. And, well, let's see. They got two more. Here we have Peekaboo, or Meryl. And a Primplup. Oh, wow. Okay, so... This is an easy battle. It has become an easy battle. And... Well, let's go, Meryl. So how many of you guys thought, well, how many of you guys my age thought that Meryl was Pika Blue? Who came out with that Pika Blue uh, theory or rumor? If you guys know, or if there's a video explaining that whole thing, please comment down below. Let me know. There has to be something about this. I would like to know. And, well, look at that. Everybody is getting leveled. And, of course, Hydra grows to level 33, so it's strong, feeling buff, you know, destructive in the rain. Yeah, okay, so let's see. I think that's pretty much it right there. And well, would you look at that, guys? We are in uh, Trainer Tips. <laughs> trainer Tips. I'm going to grab that item right there because, yes. And it's an elixir. It will actually help us out in the long run for any other Pokemon battles right here. So, what I'm going to do right here, guys, is I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause right here. Because in the next episode, we're going to be going up into that castle place and then battling everybody else. So, it's great to be back here, guys. Great to be hosting. Hosting you guys, as always, seeing my face right now. Not the best, but still Butterface, as always. Um, in the next episode, we're going there. Can't remember the name of the place. But, you guys already know that I'm going to be kicking some butt right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode on Thursday. See you guys.